Hi guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you're all well. So today I just wanted to share with you a few things that I've learned being a social worker. I've got five things that I'm going to share with you. I hope you enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let's get right into it. I think the first thing that has been a big, big change for me is the fact that I realized that bad things happen to everyone. I feel like it sounds like it's common sense, but when you start practicing social work, it becomes so real. Like you meet clients from all different backgrounds, from all different, you know, socioeconomic backgrounds, from all different um, cultures, from all different races, and they all present with similar problems. And, you know, you realize how connected we all are one way or the other. And you start to realize that um, a lot of judgments that we might have about certain people are not necessarily the case. And, you know, we're all human and we all face, you know, similar issues. Yeah. For instance, like in, I currently work in domestic violence and I've had really affluent, powerful women who are actually like, you know, running their own businesses or really financially doing well, but still experience domestic violence. I've had women who basically have come from like lower socioeconomic backgrounds and still experience domestic violence. And yeah, it's just interesting to see how, how these challenges affect people different ways. You know, I've just become really aware of how the issues I guess in society and how it impacts on different people and how regardless of where you're coming from or who you are, how these problems can impact on you. So yeah, that's the first thing I think. The second thing is I feel like I've become so much more open-minded. Not that I was close-minded before I started practicing social work. I feel like I've always been a little bit open-minded, but at the same time I have held on to certain beliefs that I wasn't really willing to shift or move a little bit but I feel like now that I've practiced I'm practicing social work I feel like I've had to you know learn a lot about human behavior and just learn a lot about different issues and how to work around them and just um I've, start, I've read a lot about different things, I guess, and I think open-mindedness has been one of the biggest things because you meet people from all different backgrounds with all different kinds of personalities and you have to work with them in a way that you're not being judgmental of them. And if you have to do that, you have to be open-minded. I'm not going to say that I'm never, ever judgmental because there's sometimes where, you know, saying things will be playing in the back of my head where I'm like, what? What do you mean? Like, that's terrible. You can't do that. You know, but at the same time, I have control of it, you know, so I feel like my open-mindedness level is just much, much better than it has been prior to me becoming a social worker. And I think, I mean, that's a, as a result of a lot of other factors. I don't think it's just me practicing social work. I feel like, yeah, I do a lot of other things that help expand my knowledge and things like that but i think social work practicing social work has been a main influence as well i feel like in practicing social work as well i feel like i've gotten to know myself a lot more and um, i know what i can and can't tolerate i know what my limits are i know what kind of personalities i tend to get along with or i find easier to work with I know where I have difficulty. I've just learned so much about myself because I'm constantly interacting with people and that wasn't necessarily something that I did a lot of prior to me becoming a social worker. So I feel like I've learned a lot about myself in practicing social work and, you know, I've realized um, where, where I'm, you know, where I've got weaknesses, where I've got my strengths and, you know, um, the kind of skills that I'm better at as well, I've become aware of. So, yeah. Another big one I feel that social work has taught me is being assertive. I, I think, um, I've never, I didn't used to be assertive with this. I'll definitely articulate to social work because I feel like, yeah, working with different personalities, um, you know, both in the terms of working with clients and working with colleagues, you just have no choice but to be assertive otherwise you just be walked all over like you just have no choice and it's something that i've learned to to do and i don't think that would have come along if i hadn't practiced social work maybe if i had done something else to teach myself to be assertive yeah but i think 
this is something that I've learned in, in practicing social work definitely because I've just had no choice and you know I've had to put boundaries in place I've had to advocate for clients I've had run out of memory and my camera cut off but yeah as I was saying assertiveness is definitely something that I have developed um, in the few years that I've been practicing social work because I'm constantly required to talk to people and you know be it co-workers be it colleagues um, be it other service providers be it um, clients and yeah as I said a lot of advocacy is required and if you're going to be timid about it then you probably won't get the kind of support you need and even you know with your colleagues as well you need to be heard and you need to be able to give your opinions about things so yeah I think that's um, um, assertiveness is definitely something that I have developed over time in practicing social work and I'm actually really grateful for that because I feel like it's applicable in every part of your life and if you're not assertive yeah you definitely will be worked all over and I think finally this is actually really nice to think but um, I think um, I've always been aware that, you know, there's really lovely people in the world, but I think um, just me practicing social work has given me the opportunity to meet so many amazing people that I don't feel I otherwise would have met, maybe through other avenues, I don't know, but um, yeah, I just think it has given me a great appreciation for just other people in general. Um, I think I'm a lot more selfless than I was prior to me studying social work or me practicing social work and I've just met yeah some really beautiful people be it clients be it workers and yeah and I think I tend to look at people that do not necessarily do things that we consider good um in a different light I look at them as people who are just in fear and people that are scared and therefore they act out in certain ways I don't look at them like you're bad or you're terrible or you know what you're doing is horrible how can you be like this which is the way I thought prior to me practicing social work but I think now that I practice social work I look at those people as people who are just in fear and are basically crying for help minded Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's something that you guys have learned in practicing social work or in studying social work, I would be glad to know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.